Hello and welcome to our presentation on the future CentOS Stream contribution workflow. I'm Tomáš and we did this showcase together with my teammate Honor and the rest of the team. Our goal with this walkthrough is to show you the current ideas and some of the progress we've made in building a contribution mechanism for CentOS Stream. This demo showcase is a prototype, which is not final yet. I'm pretty sure you've already heard about CentOS Stream at this point, but let's refresh our memories. CentOS Stream is a rolling released Linux distro that exists as a midstream between the upstream development in Fedora Linux and downstream development for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It is intended to be a way to contribute into future minor releases of RHEL while interacting with Red Hat and other open source developers. The main idea while working on the contribution workflow prototype was to come up with a contribution mechanism that feels natural both for old timer and new community members. The structure of package resources we have now has several caveats when we try to open it up to accept contributions from all over the place. This is how the idea of SourceGit was born. SourceGit pulls in history of upstream Git repos and applies all the downstream patches and spec file as Git commits. This creates a familiar environment for everyone to submit and review contributions. We can use the all well-known Git workflows. We want to emphasize this is just a prototype which can change in future. Until then, we'd like to reach out to you for feedback and ideas. Please let us know what you think. Sources for CentOS Stream are stored in git.centos.org in the RPM's namespace. This is a so-called distribution git or disgit, where each repo has a predefined directory structure to store the spec file, downstream patches, and the upstream source code is stored as an archive in the Lucasite cache. Although the CentOS build systems know how to work with this layout, the setup is not very intuitive for collaboration, as it has several issues. It's hard to tell how the source code is going to look like after the patches are applied. It's pretty easy to make mistakes while generating the patches. One cannot work easily in such an environment and people usually create their workplaces on the site. Content of SourceGit repository is equivalent to this git, but uses upstream format. Source files instead of tarballs, git commits instead of patches. Upstream repositories and SourceGit repositories are pretty much the same thing. As you can see, on top of the upstream tree, we also have the RPM spec file so that we can create a package out of the repository. This is how the contribution can look like. Just fork the repository and clone it locally. This is a contribution created by a community member on the disk repository for the RPM component. We can see that there are two line changes, which are separated into two commits. One of them enables the NDB backend for RPM database, and the other one fixes a typo in the spec file. And, it, and we will use the typo fix in our demonstration of the contribution workflow with SourceGit. We are going to get the change from the this Git RPM pull request locally to our SourceGit repository. We will create a new branch, download the patch and apply it. We can see the two commits were applied. Now we are going to use interactive rebase to get rid one of the commits. So why we are doing it? So the thing is that the pull request actually introduces two changes. As I said, one of the change is a typo fix in the spec file, which should be easy to accept, right? But the other change actually enables the NTB database backend for RPM, which is a huge commitment for the maintainers of the RPM component. And that won't be easy to accept, right? So let's just pick the easy change with the typo fix. So let's push the changes to our fork. It's done now and we can create a pull request in the web interface. So we will navigate to the upstream repository, hit open PR button. Okay, now we can see how the pull request looks. Yeah, the title is reasonable. 
we can see our change and our commit done by Matthew and we can hit the create pull request button and now in the background packet tooling is executing the build so we just need to wait for it to finish voila the build is done and let's have a look okay this is it it passed successfully And we are building in two different targets, in ARC64 and X8664. Let's summarize what we have achieved. So we have picked up an existing contribution, ported it to the source git type of repository, created a pull request, it built successfully, and the next step in the workflow is that we would wait for the maintainer of the component to give us a review. And there are two outcomes. Either the maintainer says the patch is good and can be accepted, which is this case. As you can see, it got accepted and we moved it to Bugzilla and then it would continue with the internal workflow. But the patch may also get rejected and the pull request would be closed. Thank you very much for watching. This video was brought up the packet team and we are excited to hear what you think.